What's going on, people? We right here, right here in Memphis, man, right here at 201 Poplar and Exchange Avenue, where they changing you out for the profit they make off the prison to, uh, what they call it, the school, the prison pipeline. Yeah, that's what they exchanging you out for. All right, so look, we out here to get the mind gauge of our people, man. Hey, Eli, what you got to tell these folks? Hey, man, it's 4th of July, and our uh -huh. people think they slave, mm. but they still enslaved. Uh. They mental is gone, man. You know what I'm saying? The most I said we'll be destroyed for a lack of knowledge, and I'm seeing it full hand right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Our people don't know. The incarceration of the chosen nation is very serious in our community. Mm. Hey, this is my boy, Officer Maccabee, man. What you got? Yeah, man. Hey, like the brother said, man. Hey, we come down here in the slums and the ghettos, man. Yes, sir. Trying to get our people to understand this Bible and bring this Bible to life. That's right. Let them that's know right. everything that's, right. that's going on. Even with the the, the, the the prison industry right. populate overpopulated by our people, right. we gotta see we gotta show our people that this is indeed a true book and it talks about our people. That's right. It talks about all the situations that we go through, man. Mm -hmm. So we just trying to grab our people. Hey, ask them questions in regards to the Bible. Mm -hmm. Show them the Bible. Hey, and show them that they must turn back to God's laws. That's man. right. And on, on what they were saying, we man. are exactly. <laughs> In front of 201 Poplar, right, right, in front right. of the infamous Lauderdale Court, huh? where the people park daily around here right. to get their lives stripped away mm -hmm. by the court system. Right. So hopefully we'll share some light on what we're talking about. It's, that's a cut. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, Tidy, hey, Tidy. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, Tidy, Tidy. Hey, Tidy, hold on, hold on, hold on. Check out the, check out the wheels. Go back hey, down. Hey, 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 What's going on, people? Hey, we out here on the set live coming to you, baby. Right here, I got my partner by the name of? Tay. I got Tay right here with me, all right? So now we're talking about the mass incarceration of the chosen nation, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans today, all right? So let me ask you something, Tay. Do you think that uh, the blacks, the Hispanics, and Native Americans being incarcerated, do you think they that would lower the crime rate in today's society? To be honest, I... I really do. I, I do think it would. I okay. do think it would. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, like you said, it is a lot of crime in Memphis. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we kind of need kind need to cease all crime, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. I, 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 here we here. Downtown 201 Popular, man. The topic is the mass incarceration of the chosen nation. So, right now, we, we, we talking to my sister, Miss Ella Warren Twin. Miss Ella Warren. Okay. Okay. The first question is, Miss Ella, do you think the mass incarceration of our people is effective in lowering the crime rate that's in the United States of America? Yes, I do. You do? You do? Okay. Uh, so as we see how we're being incarcerated and all the things that's going on in our communities, do you see a big change? In some areas. Okay, in some areas, okay. In some areas. So with with the percentage of African Americans and Hispanics being above sixty percent, 
incarcerated and the so-called Caucasian nation being at 32 percent. What are your thoughts about that? Do you think that's, you know, like how do you feel about that situation? Uh, I really can't answer that. Okay. Because I'm an I'm a estimated. Okay. All right, all right. We out here with, what's your name, brother? Isaac. With Isaac. Question for you, Isaac. Yes. As a matter of fact, we're in front of the infamous Lauderdale Court, right across the street from 201 Poplar. Where it all happens at. And what's the new name of these places? The Barrow Towers. The Barrow Towers. The apartment complex here. The Barrow Towers. Oh, the apartments. What, what did they name these? Oh, them the Uptown Square. Uptown Square. They changed the name because these were terrible apartment complexes. So now, a lot, you, you've you been over here for a while. Yeah. Right? I'm so, from so this brother is from Memphis. He knows what's going on. I got a question for you, little Barry. Um, Isaac. Isaac. Yes. Tell me. What do you think about mass incarceration of the black family? Do you think that's the answer for lowering the 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 crime rate in our communities? Oh no, that is that is not the answer. But mm -hmm. you also have to look at it like if you don't want nothing to happen to you, mm -hmm. you don't want to go to jail, mm -hmm. don't do anything, don't break the law. Cause I believe in the law. Okay. I used to I used, I used to go in there in the wintertime, you know what I'm saying, just to get out of the way. But yeah. now with my brother uh, Duke. Duke. Okay, I'm with my brother Duke. Same question. Do you think with the black Hispanics being incarcerated, do you think that the crime level will go down and it's safety to the public? Alright, first of all, I feel like people think that slavery is over, right? Woo. People think that slavery is over and shit. Uh, Man, I'm there me. we go now to speak the truth, they bro. Like right. But right, right now, right. mother stumping for five cents an hour, now that's basically free for everybody. You got white folks on them. Who, who, who? White. Okay, okay. Prisons for five cents an hour, stubborn license plates. That's some. All right. Hey, hey. As you can see, the oppression makes a wise man. Hey, we doing the cuts from the street. The the. Out for 201 Popular Street, yes, man. We got brother who? What's your name? Running Charles White Rashad, brother. Running Charles White Rashad, man. We doing mass incarceration of the chosen nation, Can I man. tell you what happened to me? R wait real quick. Can we I gonna, tell you what happened to me? We're going to we're we're let you tell it, but we got a question. Yes, we want sir. you to elaborate on yes, it. Give sir. us your understanding of it. I got so much elaboration. All right, so the mass incarceration, right? Yes, sir. So with the mass incarceration, do you think that affect and you do, do you think it's effective in lowering the crime rate? I'm going to tell you what it's effective as, brother, mm -hmm. as a black man. Right. I'm going to start South Africa. Mm -hmm. This is what it's effective as, to lower the numbers of black men in America. Hey, you said so. If I, when I say I wish we go back to slavery, uh -huh. because you can go home with the girl. Uh -huh. They say, we're going to separate them. Right. No more, no more seat. No more seat. Right, right, right. Do no you think more you. Do no you? more guys look like you. Right, right. The, White man initiative is this right now. Mm -hmm. This is movement. And Donald Trump it specialized in the he's a good guy in his own little way. He did the tariff, he did it all. But one thing he did with this he stayed with the Midwesterners, the white boys with the 40 acres already. Mm -hmm. Cause this is what's going on, brother. This is what's going on. Hey, hey, is this anybody that love America? No. Is this anybody that love black people? The one that built the country here. Mm -hmm. Is anybody? Would you just stop and look at one day at your mother there? At your mother there. You hear me? Hey, brother, we can go in depth about any conversation. But the mass incarceration was something they started from the beginning. Mm -hmm. When you come across the water there with the chain on your neck there. Right. They, but hold on, they say no, 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 no. They keep reproducing. Right. They keep reproducing. Hey, let me let me ask you this. You watch the news, right? Right. Tell me what's what's been going on in Memphis to today. What what's been going on out here? What kind of crimes have you seen on the news? Man, shooting, stabbings, robbing, and shooting. Mm -hmm. 
Man, it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. Lot of stuff. Lately, but lately, I want to bring out a point. Lately, we've we've seen that there's been a lot of shootings on the highway right. while people are driving. They having drive-by shootings on yeah, the, uh, right. I can't say, uh, I guess drive-by shootings on the highway, right? Has that not been happening here in Memphis? Yeah, that's been happening in Memphis, too. Right, right. That's been happening. Now, let me ask you this. What is the percentage of the uh, of blacks versus whites that you think are in the, the, the prison complex today? All over, all over. What you think the percentage is? How many percentage do you think are black in the community, uh, uh, in the prison? I'd say a good 86%. 86%? Damn. He said 86%. And, and you think how much is white? About the half, the, the rest the, of yeah. The rest of about 14%. Yeah. So he said 86 black, 86% is black and 14% white. But guess what? It's uh, I ain't going to say you far off because it's it's like 60% plus. Right. All right, that's that's blacks. Right. All right, so it's it's it is that we we do populate the the prisons as we know it today. Because the reason we say that is because you know when you go downtown and you 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 get a whiff and a look through the jails, you see mostly who. It's okay, say it, Miss Alec. I don't say it. You see the black people, right? You see our people. I see black people. Right, the blacks and Hispanics. Because we populate the jail systems right now. So, do you, how do you feel about that going on in our community nowadays? Do you think it's right? Do you think it's wrong? I believe it's wrong because I've got my experience right here on Poplar Street. Okay. I used to go to jail. I used to get a citation five and six times a day. But I changed my lifestyle. You change your lifestyle. Yeah, I, I don't live that life anymore. And I'm constantly, every day, trying to tell my next sister the same thing. Okay, okay. Mag the That's magnification of the law. Let's go over a few of those laws. Thou shalt not kill. Our people do that. Uh, everybody do that. Not our people. People kill. Okay. Black people kill. Black people kill. Yellow people kill. Brown people kill. Everybody kills. So but the question don't was... People. Don't just say our you're people. Right. You're just right. don't say every, our people. Everybody yeah. kill. But... But what happens is they lock us up. And so this will be the next question for you. Why do you think that the prisons are filled with our people at a 50 percent rate and oh, the no, other the no, other no, race? No, my brother, I have to disagree with you. On what was what was what's your take this, on it? It's, it's more white people actually incarcerating than there are black people. It's more black people that's in college than white than white people in prison. Now, come on now. This don't. Don't make us look bad, brother. No, no, no. People this this is not to lift up, 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 uplift. That's right. Okay. And, and, don't and, don't focus on that. Okay. That over there, right there. That's one way in, one way out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Only person that can take me in there is me. All okay. right. Okay. If I right. do something fucked if up. You do something messed up. Okay. Yeah. Against the law. Against the law. Okay. Against you or anybody else. Right. So, yeah. So the laws are what they call the judicial system has laws called thou shalt not kill, steal. Uh, Rape, and, uh, and rob, anything. So you find those. What's your God's name? The God of the Bible. No, what's your I, I don't want to focus on that right now. But but what I'm no, what I'm saying see, is, see, we can't have a conversation. Uh -huh. If we gonna have a conversation, it's a two way conversation. Okay. Cause see, that woman down there, uh -huh. she the only one that can tell me how to talk and what to talk about. We gonna talk, brother. We gonna talk now. Okay. Okay. We, we okay. We okay. Okay. Eggs and well, damn rice. Well, well, let's get let's get down hey. to the nitty gritty. Yeah. Are you telling me that the jail cells are filled with white men? This jail cell right here. White men, more, men, more whites, men. Yeah. more whites than black. I'm talking about all over the United States of America. You focus mm -hmm. on Memphis. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about all over the United States of America. Uh -huh. How many white people in Arizona? How many brown people in Arizona? How many black people in Arizona? A whole lot more white people in Arizona than brown and black people in Arizona. Now that's one state. Yeah, that's, that's one this, state. Like that's one building. Just that's like that's one, one building. Yeah. Now, now when you think about Chicago, what about Chicago? When you think about New York, what about New York, L.A., Alabama, uh, 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 Arkansas, Mississippi, all these places, oh, our everywhere. people, everywhere. our everywhere. people feel the jail cells. That's a true fact. Well, you can you look that what? up. I'm gonna tell you like this right mm -hmm. here. If our people don't want to feel the jail cell, mm -hmm. some of our people should not stop need to do stupid. Shit. 
right. You right. You can't raise a son. You can raise right. a baby. But you can't man, You can't take a, a boy to a man. Right, right. It takes a man to do that. So, so, that so take me back to the uh, the bail bondsman fee that you were saying about how they, the uh, well, you know, private the, industry. The, the overall industry across the whole country. Uh -huh. A lot of uh, states now are, are against bail bond mm -hmm. because bail bond allows people to get out of jail. Mm -hmm. But people out of jail... The private industry can't make money. Right, 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 right. They right. get paid for people being incarcerated in jail. Mm -hmm. The products they sell in the jail to you that you can go online, order and buy, you know. And so now it's more about profits than it is about laws. You know, mm -hmm. the laws is just the smoke screen. Right, right, you right, know, right. Violent crime, getting maximum time, and all that bullshit there. Right, That's right. all propaganda. Uh-huh. You know, there ain't nobody trying to fight no crime, man. Mm-hmm. You know, because think about it, crime go down, mm -hmm. you don't need police, you don't need prosecutors, mm -hmm. you don't need judges, you know, you don't need courts. Mm -hmm. But that's what I was saying here in Memphis, man, a whole Not lot. Not just in Memphis. No, no, it's, it's, I mean Chicago, you think about no, all, all, about, all over the world. Yeah, all over the country. Uh-huh, right, right. You right. know, it's not just based on, you know, people use Memphis because it's a majority black population. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And, and the more people that go to jail in Memphis are going to be black because the population is black. Yes, sir. But it's really based on the profit. Remember, you know, Tennessee is the fifth highest paid state in the country mm. for jail institutions. Mm -hmm. People have been locked up. Tennessee is ranked number five. Wow. Wow, that's heavy. That's yeah. heavy right there. Number five. Oh, yeah, do your homework. Yes, sir. Do a little research. It's, yes, it's there. Right. But Tennessee is ranked number five. Number five. In the whole country mm -hmm. for incarceration and the profits that the jails are making off of people that's been incarcerated. That's why they're trying to privatize probation, parole, jails, uh, all of that, because it's all about money. Yes, sir. You know, it's not about trying to people doing right, because see, if they had was trying to fight crime and trying to do right, because think about it, the average person who go to jail is going to be uneducated, mm -hmm. because he, he don't dropped out of school in junior high, high school. You know, he don't quit school or got kicked out or something. Where... I don't think he's learning by the products of, from the neighborhood that which he's in. Yes, sir. You know, he's learning how to hustle, how to steal, how to gamble. Mm -hmm. Or he's just taking it upon himself to do whatever he can in order to survive. Because some guys, some kids are stuck with the responsibility. Dad is in prison. Dad is in the penitentiary. Dad is in the federal joint, whatever it might be. You know, or daddy might even be dead. Yes, sir. Mama don't have the tools or not equipped to take care of the family. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the middle child, the oldest child, whichever one, get out here and, and you know, try to you know help mama out. Yes, sir. Because mama might have a little nickel dime job, might be working at McDonald's, might be working at Fed, you know, some underpaid wage. Right, right. Because right. Memphis is not a high scale payer. Yes, sir. You know, so, you know, and you just have to try to put those pieces together mm -hmm. and see a lot of the things that's going on now. It's an overflow from the little drug war that they had back in the 80s. Yes, sir. When they declared the country, they didn't stop people from getting high. They didn't stop people from selling drugs. They didn't stop people from using drugs. The only thing you did, you just put people away for a long period of time. And then the products from that that was having kids before they went in, because a lot of these cats went in, they was 18, 19, 20 years old, 25 years old. Mm -hmm. Now, they're getting back out now. They're 30 or 40 years old. Mm -hmm. Their kids are grown. Yes, sir. You know, you know, some of them clueless. Yes, sir. You know, if they don't, have, they didn't have a family that would help support them to uh, kind of guide them through the weeds, through the jungles, to, you know, try to keep them on the straight and narrow path. Mm -hmm. You know, they got it up. Yes, sir. You know. Okay. All right. Well, hey, look, I appreciate that knowledge. That's the thing that people need to hear. So, hey. Hey, it is what it is, man. We got to wake up. So that's what we got here for. Tori, I got Tori here with me today. We down right off of Bill. Quick question, Tori. Mm -hmm. The percentage of, what do you think the percentage is of blacks, Hispanics in the prison populations versus the so-called white population? The percentage. The black percentage of the prison population versus the white percentage in the prison population? I think it's probably about 95%. So it's a huge chunk. 95% of who, the white people? The black. Dang, you think we make up 95% of the prison? Because, because the police always stop black people. We mm -hmm. always get in trouble for whatever, whether it be something big, something small. We always we always wrong to white people because they can't, they can't seem to get it right, so we always wrong. So, therefore, 
they always try to come after the black people because we're more strong-minded than white people. We're, mm. we're the dominant race. Right. So they always come after us because they scared of us. Hey, quick scriptures to prove that. Give me Isaiah 41 real quick. Message. 41 and 21. 42 and verse 21 real quick to verify that we are. This Bible talks about us being in prison. It, it speaks on us as a nation being in prison. Read that. 42, 21. Okay, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 21. Mm -hmm. The Lord is well pleased uh -huh. for his righteousness sake. So listen up. It says the Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake. Read. He will magnify the law and make it honorable. So God got a law that he magnified and made honorable that we're supposed to be keeping. But by us not keeping it, it keeps us being in the midst of sin which God hates and he calls us to go. Right, into right. the prison industry right. at the rate at a rapid rate right. read on verse 22 uh -huh. but this is a people so wrong he, so he's speaking about a certain nation of people he first said that this people that i'm talking about is robbed robbed of what nationality your heritage your homeland right, right. who you are as a people because we don't know read and spoiled and we're spoiled we're very spoiled we don't um we we got wick Section 8, food stamps, all of these things that they give us to spoil us, to keep us docile. Read. They are all of them snared in holes. Snared in holes, read. And they are hid. Where we hid? In prison houses. So what nation of people you think this Bible is talking about? Talking about the so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Right. In the Bible, our nationality Message. is Israel. We the Israelites. We God chosen people. That's why we run the fastest, right. jump the highest. Right. We do everything better than all the other nations. And the other nations, the reason why they treat us like this, first and foremost, because we breaking God's laws. Right. Secondly, because they know we are God chosen people, and they jealous. Today, okay. So now let me ask you this: What do you think that we need to do to lower the crime rate in our communities? I say, you know, more more involvement, get more black people to get involved with each other, you know, have, I mean, open houses, so, I mean, not open houses, but, you know, get all black people to come together and mm -hmm. work together in mm -hmm. some type of way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're saying get us to get us to come together. Now, now Tay, I want you to think about something. Come here, give me a little bit of five and one. All right, now I want you to think about something. Right. So if we got all black people to come together, so think about this, we got the the robber, mm -hmm. we got the murderer, okay, we got uh, we got the pedophile, right. uh, 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 we got the snitch, right. we got we got everything coming together. Right. Will we be able to grow if you got murderers, thieves, robbers, uh, 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 every crime that's under the book coming together as one? We couldn't, right? I Could mean, we progress as, as, as like that? I mean, I I think it's a possibility. I mean, depending on if it's something. That you know, that person might enjoy doing it. Think about this, Tay. Would you let a thief in your house? No, I wouldn't. Why? You say we got to come together let the thief come in your house. No. You wouldn't do it, right? So there has to be some type of change before that thief, so before we can come together, there has to be a change, right? All right. All right, listen. Listen to this. I want you to listen to something. This is a scripture right here. Give me Leviticus chapter 5, verse 1. All right. The book of Leviticus chapter 5 and verse 1. Uh-huh. And if a soul sin. So it says, if a soul sin, so... Murder, thieving, uh, 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 pedophilia, rape. whatever, rape, that's sin, right? right? According to the Bible, right? right. Read. And if a soul sin uh -huh. and hear the voice of swearing uh -huh. and is a witness, uh -huh. whether he has seen or knowing of it, uh -huh. if he do not utter it, then he shall bear his iniquity. So what, what did that say? You know what that scripture just said, Tay? Mm. Explain it to me. I'm explaining it. You know how we say in our community, snitches get stitches, right? Right. Leviticus 5 and 1 just said, if you see a crime, you're supposed to go and tell yeah, right. that crime. Right. Will that not lower the crime rate in our communities? In a way, it could. In a way? What you mean? In a way? So, if a brother, look, look right over here at this stop sign. If a brother was over here murdering somebody at that stop sign, if you go and tell the police, I seen it, 
I know what he looked like. I know who he is. Do you think that would stop? Yeah, the, course, it would stop course, the crime rate. So guess what? If you did it, I did it, and our whole community started to do that. Meaning the drug dealers in our community, we said, "Hey, look, y'all got to stop selling these drugs. We going to the police." I know who you are. I know you, Fred. I went to high school with you. I graduated with you in 2013. I know who you are. I know where you stay. I'm going to tell the police you're selling drugs. Right. Do you think that will lower the crime rate? Yeah. But why? But why we don't do that though, Tay? Because we won't change. We won't change in our community. Do we not want change in our community? Yeah, we do. But we why? Do. Why won't you go and say, "Hey"? I mean, like you said. I mean, they going by what you said earlier. Mm -hmm. Snitches get stitches. Snitches get stitches. Nobody, nobody want to be seen as a snitch in Memphis. Nobody wants to be seen as a snitch. Snitch as a Memphis. Let, let me ask you. Oh, oh, no, so say it again. No, my brother just say got arrested. She said her brother just got arrested. Do you know what for? No, I don't know what folks And this do. is what we're out here to do. Talk <laughs> about this mass incarceration in the wrong ways. That's what's happening. More than likely the brother probably wasn't doing anything, but but this is what this is what we want to do. Let me, let me ask you this one question. This one question right here, sister. What do you think? What do you think about us policing our own communities? What do you think about that? Uh <laughs> oh, you got I mean, else? I feel like us policing ourselves, that's what keep black people going against black people. So I feel like, I don't know. You think your brother would have got locked up had we? Do you think, do you think, do you think we would, we would give a better judgment to our own people yeah. other than the other races policing us and giving their own judgments towards us? Yeah, I do. Okay, so so that's what we was interested in. What our people think about our own people going through these um, uh, oppressive ways of the law and our own people policing ourselves giving our own selves the laws of God actually and doing things the right way instead of us being wrongfully accused in a lot of ways and getting in prison for things that we didn't do unjustly getting judged so you do agree that if we were to judge each other, each other by God's laws that we'll be doing things the correct way yeah we're not supposed to judge each other at all okay I feel like that's wrong for us to, for anybody to judge us. That's not, that's not our place. Okay. Okay. You, you got something to say? What you got to say, bro? Come on, my brother. Come on with it. Come on with it. Bring it on in. Bring, the last bring, bring thing I got to say, the last thing I got to say is, the one, the thing that's ruining the black community, the one thing that's ruining the black community uh -huh. is jealousy. Jealousy. You jealous of what another man got instead of what, what you got, what you got in your hands. That's what called you coveting. Hands. Yup. Uh -huh. that, like, that's a sin, right? That's jealousy. a sin to, to, to covet what somebody else has. Right, right, right. And you, the je like, jealousy is ruining the black community because jealousy is the main reason why we're killing one another. Okay. You okay. worried about what another man got that what you ain't got, and you want what he got. Mm -hmm. So you just, you, like, ain't you no know other way to get what he got. Mm -hmm. Cause they ain't, like, they ain't, they building liquor stores, gun mm -hmm. shops, and mm -hmm. all the other stuff in black communities. But, <laughs> it ain't helping. Okay. Yeah. Let, me, let me get this scripture because what you just said, you're right. We shouldn't we shouldn't covet. Right. That's what that is. Yep. Watch what the Bible say. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. That's a form of hatred when you're coveting what your brother has and you'll do whatever in your, that's in your mind to do to get what he has. That's hatred. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Uh huh. And not suffer sin upon them. So when the Bible says you should rebuke your neighbor, it's talking about you should correct them in his wrongdoing. You see another brother coveting right. or being so jealous that he'll go to all forms of means as robbing him, yep. snitching on him to somebody else so that they could rob him and take what he has. Mm -hmm. That's that form of hatred. You should right. rebuke your brother if you see him doing it. Read. Right. Yep. Verse 18. Thou should not avenge. Nor bear any grudge. It said you should not bear any grudge. Nor you sh should you be avenging. What what is it talking about when it say avenge? You know, avenge. Okay, say it one more time. Reread that again, Father Bro. Verse eighteen: Thou should not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. What you think that's talking about? I feel like gangs, like when gang, when a gang member. For mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. when a rival gang member like killed another gang right, member, they right, want right. revenge you bring, for you. Brought, you brought yeah, you it know. home. The brother brought like that a, home. Like it's like a cycle. Right, yeah. right. They're gonna right. keep going and keep going to be right. To everybody, end up 
dead or in the hospital yeah. without or, limbs. Or what? In jail. Or in jail, in, in jail. prison. Yeah. Exactly what right. we should and, and do. At that point, everybody lose. Exactly. Exactly. So the brother's on point with what he's saying. Finish this scripture out for me. Thou shalt not avenge nor have any grudge against thy children of thy people. So it says against thy people. That's why he went over policing our own selves. Right? Because these are, the, these are the things that we should do amongst our own people. Right. Right? That's the love to our brothers. So if we do what God say do, we won't be getting locked up. Right. Because right. they do go by, they do call their law the judicial system. Which is the law of the Jews. Right. Right. Read. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Shall love our brothers as ourselves. Look at them like he's you. Hey, man. Look. Eli. I'm oppressed, man. Me too. Just to see the, the mind state of our people, bro. I, I, don't, I don't know what the hell's going on. Can, can you give, 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 give the people some sense of what we've seen today, bro? Hey. It's been some short interviews, as you can see. Because our people down here celebrating the fourth of damn July. Would you look at here? Somebody, somebody look at somebody need to come look at this. Somebody need to come look at this. This is the fourth of July. Our people think they saved, but they still enslaved by the people that oppress them. And they popping fireworks to celebrate that oppression. So we got some short interviews, you know what I'm saying? But hey, our people gotta wake up by any means necessary. Officer Medical, what you got, man? Like the officer said, man, it's oppressing to know that we still being oppressed and think that we not. This justice system is perverting the laws of God and they incarcerate us for doing so. Wrongly so, a lot of the times. Right. right. So we come out here to talk to the people, man, this is really a saddening event, you know what I'm saying, to, to see the mindset of our people. At the same time, man, there's a lot of people who woke who understand that that um, we're, we're being wrongfully wrongfully judged out here. So the best thing to do is to keep these interviews going and coming to you all so you all also can see and make a change. What you got, Daniel? Oh, baby. We do it for the people, baby. Hey, what we got to do? What we got to do, Dave? We got to teach all people God laws. Uh -huh. We got to teach right. them to come back to God laws, the true judicial system. Right. Because this judicial system in society is not for them. Right. It's not created for us. God created for us to keep his laws, statutes, and commandments, and that's what we're not doing. So we're coming to show all people they sin. Right. We're coming to, 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 to cast down imaginations of these wicked holidays that they celebrate and show them what they must come back to in order to thrive as a nation of people. Right. So with that... Come in a little closer. Let, let come in a little closer, baby. I love it. Aye, 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 aye. Hey, we down here live, man, with the bucket man himself, Mr. Alonzo from Memphis. Mr. Alonzo from Memphis. We on, we on the mass incarceration of the chosen nation, and from the look of his skin tone and his background, uh, what I done heard, he is a part of the chosen nation. But what keep happening when you, what, what keep happening to you down there? That police keep chasing me and I keep running. <laughs> the police keep chasing him and he keep running. Man, don't worry from the... <laughs> Come on, put some money in it. <laughs> the bucket man himself. Hey, man, we live from Cuts from the Street, man. It can't get no better than Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs>